Yes, this is the Rouge Pro G3. Gosh, I hope I'm getting that name right. I've stuffed it up so many times in the past. This is brand new. Lots of new features, including their multi-wave parabolic technology. Something uh, I'll, I'll talk more about later in this video. The new panel is larger than its predecessor. It's putting out more power. It's got pulsing in the near infrared range, dimming ability, a brand new control panel, wireless connectivity, this neat little remote, which by the way, comes included with a battery, which is awesome. It's got a nice carry handle in the back. It also comes with some neat accessories. It's flicker free and also ultra low in EMF. However, as you're about to see, there is a bit of a limitation. Now the panel has 300 LEDs. It's 36 inches tall and 12 inches across. It looks very similar to say your Biomax 900. I do like the wider size in red light therapy panels. And you can get two of these for instance and have full shoulder to shoulder treatment coverage, which is something I've looked at rather in depthly now. And if you do want full body coverage, you pretty much need to make sure you're getting a panel wide enough for that. So with this wider design, it, of course, it does mean you need to get more panels, but that's better than having to get two extra panels. So when I plug in my spectrometer here, you can see that, yes, there are two big peaks here. So what's interesting is the red light peak is quite wide here. It's got a flat top ranging from 653 nanometers through to 665 nanometers. And then we see your near infrared peak around 856 nanometers. However, that's it. You're only getting your 660-ish in your red and your 850-ish in your near infrared. There's no 630, there's no 810, there's no 830. These other wavelengths are pretty much commonplace now. So though we are seeing a nice wide range in the 660 nanometers, it's still lacking when compared to some other panels. But one area where it's not lacking is its power output. This thing is throwing it out there. I had a peak reading at six inches of 97 milliwatts over centimeters squared. The average over nine points was 81 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now what's interesting is the team over at Rouge sent me the lab test for this panel and that lab reading was 76 milliwatts over centimeter squared at six inches. Remember that's a professional lab uh, using top of the range gear and a controlled setting. Me, I'm using good gear, but not necessarily in the best setting. So to be out only a few percent is quite impressive. One thing I do need to mention though, that lab test data had a reading at 12 inches. And what was interesting is the near infrared irradiance actually went up at 12 inches compared to six inches. Meaning the further you went away from the panel, the more light energy you're getting, which doesn't make sense. I actually dug into this and it turns out that the lab were only taking one snapshot reading and then moving back and taking a second reading. And what was happening is they were actually getting more near infrared at, as they went further away because of the way the light was coming out of the LEDs. But that really, really messed with me because I thought a lab would take multiple readings and get these super accurate numbers. But no, they're just taking one snapshot. So when I share my average reading, note that that's across nine different points. So actually it may be more accurate than the lab's reading. I'm not too sure. Anyway, we do know it's putting out a ton of power because these figures are really good. An average of 81 milliwatts may be the best I've tested in this panel class. So that is an exceptional number. But I do want to say if trying to keep up with all the figures on all these panels is getting rather confusing, be sure to hit the subscribe button below because I do have something cool to announce very, very soon. And that will help you make the most informed decision and also allow you to do your own comparisons. So again, hit subscribe below. Okay, so what are the key takeaways from this? Well, to get a deep tissue treatment, you really only need to do about a 10 minute session time. For superficial surface level stuff, about two or three minutes. And of course, given the size of this panel, it's not gonna take you long to do a full body treatment. I tested the EMF, that was fine. Likewise with Flicker and sound came in at 50 decibels. There is quite a piercing beep on the control panel though. So what about price? Well, a new panel with so much power, surely that's gonna cost a lot more money. And it doesn't. The price is actually really good. It retails for $1,149. If you use discount code Alex, that will bring the price down to $1,112. Shipping is free to the States and it's also free to Australia, Canada, and the UK, which is pretty neat. Now, when you look at it from a power value point of view, it comes out with a figure of $6.74. That is exceptional. Pretty much, I used to say anything under 10 is really, really good. We're down to six dollars now this is it's incredible the amount of therapeutic red light you can get at such a low price you can also buy some stands for this panel there's a floor mount for 130 dollars or a small horizontal stand for 220 dollars alternatively it comes packed with a door hanging hook and a pulley system i do need to mention that the pulley and the door hook are the oversized large versions 
which is really, really cool. Finally, there's a three year warranty and a 60 day return period. Okay, so what do I like about the Pro G3? Well, first up, price. It's hard to beat that price. And as you'll see shortly, when we compare this to some of its competitors, it's doing really, really well on the price front. Plus the free shipping is awesome. I don't know how long that's gonna last. I know a lot of other companies are ditching free shipping because freight costs are getting too high. It's great that it's got the wireless connectivity mode, something we've seen with the platinum LED panels. I've used it myself and I can tell you now it is a good feature. The inclusion of pulsing is gonna keep some people happy. It does only pulse the near infrared and only goes up to 20 Hertz. The included accessories are great. The power cable came with a local plug. Even better though, this cable is huge. I'm sure it's the largest one I've tested by a country mile. In fact, it's so big I can skip with it. The power output is amazing. And I do need to mention that it's got a really nice light spread and you're not getting any concentrated hot spots. It is worthy to note though that it does only have two LEDs. So that is part of the reason it can get a nice blend of light. You're working with a lot less wavelengths than other panels have. The new control panel is a nice upgrade. It is the same panel we've seen in the Rojo Therapy light panels. It's good, but it's not as good as it could be. Some changes require far too many button changes okay so what about the downsides it comes with a one page quick start guide uh, i had to go online to get the full manual personally prefer getting the printed manual in the box but at least the quick start guide was pretty decent and had some dosing protocols in there the remote is a little bit silly it was the same with the rojo therapy remotes really all you can do with this is turn it on and off you're not really going to be able to adjust the time or change the dimming or pulsing through the remote the reason being to do such things, you actually have to be seeing the screen. And because the screen's so small, you have to be close enough that you're probably gonna use the buttons on the control panel. However, being able to turn it on and off from a distance is nice. Of course though, the biggest downside is that it's only 660 and 850 nanometer light. Now you go back three or four years and this was the standard with the red light therapy panels and many people, including myself, had amazing results with it. You don't need these other wavelengths to get exceptional results. However, when you look into the research, it's well known now that wavelengths such as 810 nanometer light have some amazing benefits on the body. You're not getting your 810 in this or your 630 or other wavelengths that we see in a lot of it, the competitors product. However, if you want great value, exceptional power and all the bells and whistles, then yeah, the Rouge Pro G3 should be top on your list when it comes to red light therapy shopping. So I've alluded to its competitors a few times in this video. How exactly does it compare? First, you have Platinum LED's Biomax 900. Very similar in terms of size. The Biomax is more expensive than the Rouge. Uh, I'll put links to all of these panels, including the discounts below, if you do want to check them out. However, it does come with a much nicer control panel, the best on the market, and you're getting six wavelengths including your 810s, your 630 plus a blue light LEDs. Next, we have the Mito Red Light Mito Adapt. That panel is more expensive than both the Rouge and the Biomax. However, you're getting dual chip LEDs, which are putting out a really nice blend of light with four wavelengths, including 25% of the energy going to that 810 nanometer range, which is really, really cool. If you don't care about those other wavelengths, then you could look at something like the Huga Pro 1500. That is actually priced very similar to this. However, it's not as nice as the Rouge panel. You're not getting some of those nicer features. Now, if you've been over to the Rouge website and you've noticed that they're promoting their parabolic multi-wave technology, and if you're wondering, well, hey, do I really need those other wavelengths if it's got this technology? Be sure to check this video out because I take a good hard look at that and I do some testing and provide a full explanation. Be sure to check that out.